Hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of Ask Grammar Man. This hour we're going to be dealing with Lexus Luther and the compound nouns. Ooh, doesn't that sound exciting? If you don't know me, my name's John Eric, your American teacher on Verbling, broadcasting today from Lisbon, Portugal. I've got three rules to help you in my class. Turn off, tune in, and open up. Turn off means turn off your microphone, but also close the Verbling window when you enter the Hangout, otherwise we'll get an echo. When you're ready to speak, you can turn your microphone back on. Your microphone will be red when it's off, and it will be gray when it's on. Number two is tune into the new words that you're learning. Try to use them as actively as possible throughout the class. And number three, open up to your classmates, relax and have fun. The more open you are, the more you speak, the more feedback I can give you, and that is how you're going to learn. So, oh my god, we've already got someone in the classroom. Excellent. Let's say hello to our returning champion, Mr. Batty Louise. Hello, Mr. Batty. Hey, Mr. John Eric. It has Excellent. been a while. It has been a while. How's it going? It's going pretty well. I just need to have some way to get my classes on the verbling schedule. <laughs> yeah. As soon as there is space open, I'll return. But anyway, by the, what I'm here, by I'm the here way, today. By the just, way, where are you? Verb in CD, verb, uh, verb of CD. Uh, I'm I'm broadcasting from my bunker in Verbo City. That's right. Can oh, you tell? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With what my, is the cape? With my high, that's my cape behind me. Can you see it? That's my cape. What it? I I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to, but then you'd see my ugly walls. So I'm going to keep the cape there. But don't worry, it'll probably fall down at any moment. Okay. Okay. And then okay. You can well. Cool to see you again. So, where are all of our compadres? I see Hazel and Betty Louise and Mr. Marwin out there on the chat. Why don't you come in? And Mr. Mohammed as well. Come on in. It's warm in here. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what happened to all of our reservations? We have all these reservations and I see two people. Ah, we've got Samshi out. Hello, Samshi. Why don't you come in? Press the big green join button. That would make me very happy. Well, have I got an interesting class for you today. You know, is there is there a holiday where you are, by the way? Either of you? Is it a holiday tomorrow? No. No? No. What about out there in Colombia? Holiday? Mamma you. Sorry? No. <laughs> no, it's not holiday tomorrow. Lunes. Ah. Monday, on Monday. My mom thinks. Are you talking to me or your mother? <laughs> no, I didn't know, so I asked to my mother. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Monday there's a holiday? Yeah, she ah. thinks so. She thinks so. Tell her to come into class, Batty. <laughs> I and I barely reached. I uh, have very much work to do today, and oh. I fortunately I uh, I managed to arrive here. I'm very glad that you did. I have a lot of work to do, but I managed to arrive. So <laughs> probably probably different for you than it is for me. What do you do, Hazel? You never told me what you did. Oh, all kind of things. But uh, in the afternoon, I have some tutoring session with uh, some kids, mathematics. Ah, I see. Okay. Uh, so you're a teacher. Yeah. Because <laughs> okay. you said something about summer school. When summer came, you'd have more time. Yes. Usually, that means you're a teacher. Yes. <laughs> or, well, I don't know. Maybe there's something else as well. You could be. I don't know. But let's say hello to Mr. Jose and Andres. Hello, Jose. Hello. Nice hello. to have you back, Jose. Sorry? Don't be sorry. Nice to have you back. 
Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, listen, we're going to get started, even though we've got, looks like, 44 people watching our class and not joining us. We're going to get started anyway, with or without them. Um, and here's what we're going to do. I think I've given you the link to... Now I'm going to put our link in our chat window. Okay. I'm going to just leave it there. Why, where is Alpha Pilot? Alpha's normally here. Yeah. Uh, very <laughs> strange. Okay. That's our link. Open that up in another window. And we're going to look at today's Grammar Man comic, which has got a very interesting of interesting feature of English grammar. Uh, this one should be quite challenging. Okay, and when you open it up, it will look something like this on page one. Can everyone see that? Yeah. Okay, good. And then you scroll down. Look at that. 400 people have opened this document. Excellent. <laughs> Why don't you come to class? <laughs> Why is everyone so afraid to come in? I'm not going to make you talk in until you come in. Then I'll make you talk. I'm not going to make fun of you. Well, I might. Okay. And on the table of contents, class number 9, May 29th, Luther Lexus. Okay, there we go. So, that's where we are. Now, I can't play the Grammar Man film because we've run out of films, but we can, what we can, act it out between the four of us. We're going to try. Jose, <laughs> are you ready to be an actor? Yes. <laughs> Say that again with less enthusiasm. Yes. Say it like this, Jose. Yeah! Uh, yes. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Hazel, do you have your best acting voice prepared? Never. <laughs> okay, good, good. Mr. Betty Louise, do you have your cape on? He has, always. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Let's give this a shot. So... Open Ask Grammar Man 7 Part 1. I've put it on two different pages because it's so big. Uh, I'm opening it as well. In fact, let me share my screen. I almost don't want to share my screen. For those 44 people watching and not joining us, I almost don't want them to see it. But I'll be nice. I'll share my screen. Okay, so when you open it, it should look like this. And let's see how many people we need here. We need a grammar man. We need a narrator. Okay, I can be the narrator. Hey, we convinced someone else to come to class. Excellent. <laughs> and it's someone we know. Yes. It's, it's Ahla. Ahla. <laughs> and Sam. Oh. Welcome. And Ahla and, and Sam. Sam. Ah. Hi. Hey, what took you guys so long? <laughs> where, where have you been? Um, I was hiding. You were hiding? <laughs> Sam, let's see your tattoo before we go any further. Um, you never showed us your tattoo yesterday. Here's the problem. Well, my tattoo was washed by water, so <laughs> there's no tattoo anymore. <laughs> oh, it washed off. That's too bad. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it was some place that you couldn't show on camera, but, but okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, right? Five? Okay, we've got five people and me as the narrator. Okay. Um, Ahla and yes. Sam, do you have your you have your Grammar Man document open? No. No. Okay. Put, of so, course, I'll put it in the chat box. As you did? usual. And it, just a moment. Wait, okay. I, got I got it. I got it. I got, I got it. it. Oh, we both got it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, open that document and go down to class number 9, 29th of May, 2013, Luther Lexus. Got it? Sam, got it? Yeah. <clears throat> Everyone got it? I'm looking at the class. You look at the Verbling chat box. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's easier if I just show you. Hold on a second. Sam? Make sure you're over here. Click one of these links to the right where my cursor is. See it? Yes, I did open them. Yes, but I'm just looking for the class. Just, just saying class number. Okay. They're the same link, so just open one. Okay, and then you'll see this, 
when you've got it open, scroll down to class number nine. I'm going to put it in yellow for you so you can't miss it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, so that's where the links are to today's Grammar Man comic. And we're going we're gonna to read through it once. We're going to use our best acting skills to act out the parts. And you're going to have to spot the grammatical mistakes. Okay, this is a really good one. It's a good lesson. So, you're going to have to open those two links in another window. Okay, and when you do, you can open them both right now. And when you do, the first one looks like this. Okay, so Sam, tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Achla, are you ready? Yeah. Excellent. So, we've got... Um, okay, Betty, you're Grammar Man. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let me see. Akla, can you be our narrator? That means you're going to read all the things in the square box. <laughs> okay. Okay? All right. Um, let's see how oh. many people we need here. I have to act? You know I don't have any talent in acting. You're gonna, but that's what you're here for. We're going to coach <laughs> you. Don't worry. Um, so we've got Batty and we've got Akla. Okay, Hazel. You're the robot. Oh, no, please. <laughs> yes, yes, sorry. you're the robot. No. I want to hear your best robot voice. You know I did it very badly last say, time. Say that as a robot, Hazel. <laughs> you okay. know I did it very badly last time. Okay. 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 <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, that leaves, hang on a second. We've got Jose and we've got Sam. And do we need anything else? Oh, no. Maybe we're out of parts. Okay. Let's see on the second page. Uh, yeah, Sam, you're the bad guy. You're Luther Lexus, okay? I'm not the bad guy. You're the bad guy. <laughs> That's what happens when you come late. You become the bad guy. You should okay. be as long as I'm a robot. I prefer to be a bad guy if you want to be a robot. <laughs> Sam, you want to switch? You want to be the robot? Sure. Okay, you're the robot. Hazel, you're the bad guy. Okay, where is the bad guy? In the bad no! guys in, the I bad like uh, the Hassel voice robot. Okay. Batty, you're the robot. <laughs> Sam? I say that no, I say that I like it Hazel as a robot. Her oh, you voice. like Hazel oh, as Hazel. the robot. Hazel. Oh, okay. I see. I got it. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> but anyway, they wanted to switch. So, what, should we let them do it? What do you think? We we need one more person. We need that we need um we need uh what's his name? It doesn't matter, John. It matters to me. Wait, it matters. Okay. <laughs> We need our alien visitor. We need our alien visitor. So who's left? Uh, we've got uh, Jose. You are our alien visitor. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you are the least excited alien visitor I've ever heard. You've got to say okay. So listen. Uh, you you're on. Uh, you're all the. You're all the. It's kind of like the the pink. I think it's the pink text. I think that's what we got. Okay, I think we've got it covered. Is everyone ready? Uh, what is my role? Uh, I think Sam and you switched, right? So okay. I think that means that you're the bad guy and Sam's the robot, if I got and, it right. And where is the bad guy? I don't see. Uh, in the second part. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. And where is mine? Um... You're, you're, you're the first one to speak, and you've got to have your best broadcaster voice. Ahla. Okay. You're the very first one. You see that big that that not that big, but the little box? All the rectangles are yours. I think you've got two or three rectangles. The white uh, rectangle? white rectangles, yeah. Yeah, okay. Are you ready? Ready Are you ready? <laughs> ready Yes <laughs> Yes. Okay. Ahla, take it away. The Verbosity Museum of Grammar. Wow, that was amazing. Do that again. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and see, you thought you weren't a broadcaster. One more time. Loud. Okay. Intimidate us. The Verbosity Museum of Grammar. Sam! Uh, what a wonderful collection. Uh, wow. <laughs> that was yes, too good. Board. 
and it's been donated by the f uh, by the famous grammar adventure Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Excellent. Sam, box number two. It is so fresh. Fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> error, error. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I think, that, I think that did not compute. Try it again. Fascinating. Try it again. Fascinating. <laughs> Excellent. Grammar man. True, but we must say, stay alert. Remember, our job is to guard, guard this. Guard. Guard. This. Now it's Ahla. Okay. Suddenly. Sam. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who, I don't know who says anything. I think anything. it's the bad guy. Okay, go for it. Hey, the glides. <laughs> okay, uh, Jose, you're the one in pink. You're the alien in pink. See. Jose. See, yes. It's you're, a robbery. You're, you're, you're the dude in pink. You're, you're all the pink lines. <laughs> At the bottom, uh, box number three. It's a robbery. <laughs> yes! Yes, Jose. Okay, box number four. Sam. That's better. <laughs> I, I don't understand, Grandma, Grandma Man. Nothing's been stolen. Don't Excellent. Meet. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Look again. Syntax. All of the label <laughs> labels are gone. Oh, that's true. All the labels are gone. Keep going, Grammar Man. Box number six. The labels were the collection. This is an exhibition of val valuable antique uh, compound no nouns. Sam. A compound noun is made by joining two or more words together. <laughs> nice. Sam, you're a method actor. <laughs> you're like you're like Robert De Niro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're on box number seven. So now you got to go to the second page. Everyone, see where we are in box number seven. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sam, start us off. There's the thief. <laughs> it's Luthor Letzis. He's getting away. Flows. Bye bye, losers. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We can beat him at his own game. Oh, wait, I'll do this. Clunk, crash, bang, wallop. Now it's Akhla. And? I can see in dark with my robot eyes. <laughs> Jose. Look, Grandma. Oh no! Wait, no. So wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. That was that was Hazel. You're on the ground, Hazel. Ground? Yeah. Oh. Ground. There you go. Well done. These slave elves belong in a museum. Okay, look, Jose, take it away. Number eleven. Look, look, long, Grandma. Mark. The levels go broken in the thick. In the fight. We have, in the fight. We'll have to fist them. Plus. That's true. We have to fix them. Plore, <laughs> Grammar Man, finish us off. Can you help? Can you help, reader? We need to make eight uh, compound nouns. They are all objects that you can see somewhere in the museum exhibition. Right. And Akhla, can you read our choices to us? Brush, brief, foot, tooth, glasses, butter, ball, fly. Horse, fish, sub, case, watch, star, sun, shoe. There you go. So this is all about compound nouns. Does everyone know what a compound noun is after yeah. this episode of Grammar Man? Yes. Okay. <laughs> if you know... Shall I then, start? Uh, well, here's what you got to do. Look back through those panels in Grammar Man 7 Part 1 and Grammar Man 7 Part 2, okay? And I count one, two, three, four, five, five places in five different boxes or panels where you can 
put your labels back together, put the labels back on where they're missing from. Okay, so I, I count five different boxes. Okay, where you're, so that means, uh, how's it go? Wait, wait, five boxes and eight compound nouns. So five boxes, eight compound nouns total. Mm -hmm. So that's your challenge. Okay. Shall I start? So go for it if you're ready. Um, box number one with case. I think uh, briefcase. So box number one. Briefcase. Ah, briefcase. Yeah. One down. You've box. got seven more to go. Number two. Wait. Let let let's see. Let's see who else has got some ideas here. Though. Okay. Let's go around. So that Hazel went first. Batty. Is that a pass? Thinking, yeah, pass, I pass. Action, who's joining us late, but we're nonetheless very happy to have him. Action, Hi, Johnny. Do, Action, do you have the document open? So I opened uh, a document, but I don't know if it's, it's a right document or not. It's, so it's, I, it's, I'm trying to find, but, but I, I didn't find anything yet. OK. So on the document, when you open it, it will look like this. That's the first page, right? Look yes, on the screen? Yeah, yeah, yes, it is, yes. Okay. Go down to the part in yellow, I put in yellow, that says class number nine. And you can see it on screen right here. Uh, look, look, look at left, left, yeah. That's it. Okay, we're reading the comic, which is on two different pages. So you have to click on those two links to open them up. And what we're doing now is going through the comic and putting back the compound nouns that are missing. Okay, so open up those two links and okay. you'll be ready to go. Are we cool? Action. Yeah, I mean, we are cool. Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> okay. So let's go on to Ahla. Yeah. What do you think? Seven left. Okay, in box number two, I guess it's something shoe, um, horseshoe, is it? Yes. That is correct, horseshoe. Okay, yeah. that means two down, six to go. Now we're on to Mr. Sam. Um, in fact, this is the first time I played this game and I'm trying to figure out how to play it, I'm not sure. Oh my god. But you know what? You better ask Hazel. <laughs> Whenever you're in doubt, ask Hazel. <laughs> it used to be Ahmed, but I don't see Ahmed anymore, so now it's Hazel. Before that, it was Inga, but I don't see Inga anymore. What happened to all of our, our regulars? Where are they? It's just Batty and Hazel. Nihan, she's here sometimes. So, Hazel, um, yes. bring, him, bring Sam up to date. Um, so, uh, we at the last um, box, we have uh, half of uh, compound nouns brush, brief, what uh, read uh, before Ahla. And we have to combine two uh, halves to form a compound noun and, uh, and, and on some of the boxes are uh, a picture representing this compound noun, I think. Exactly. So like the one that Ahla just did, in yes. box number two you can see there's a picture of Horseshoe. Of Horseshoe. Right. That's it. And and the uh, first box, it's a briefcase, and uh, it's seen only case. Brief is uh, behind the grammar man, I think. That's it. Okay, so we've gotten two out of the eight, mm -hmm. so that means we've got six left. So Sam, you can look in any of the boxes in part one or part two of today's comic and see what's missing or what you can put back. Remember, we got six left. If you if you want more thinking time, say pass, and we'll move on to to Jose, and then we'll come back to you later. It's up to you. I, I need some thinking time, in fact. Please, I'll pass. Okay, so pass, Mr. Jose. What do you think? Uh, the pass. <laughs> really? You've had so much thinking time, Jose. Okay, let's go back to Mr. Batty, who had a little bit of thinking time. Okay, um, toothbrush. Brush. Yes. Toothbrush. 
I agree. Tell us where toothbrush is. Which I... box? I bought seven. Seven. So in the second page, box seven, you see a toothbrush sticking out of a glass, and that is a compound noun. Toothbrush. That means three down and five to go. Three down, so five to go. I, I can't choose any box without... Any box. Me. Okay. Okay. Uh, Want to give it a shot, Sam? Well, number 11 is clear. What? Say again? Number 11. Number oh. 11? Okay, hang on a second. Let me go to number 11. Okay. Tell me about number 11. What mm. should the compound noun be? Fly? No. No. <laughs> no. Then two. You have to have uh, to uh, to find a picture representing this compound noun. And foot fly, it isn't a compound noun. What is the meaning of compound noun? Ah, there you okay. go. So, toothbrush is a compound noun. Briefcase. It, it's come. Yeah, all of those because they they have two words. Which represent one object, and it has to be it has to be an object. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Now I get something. By the way, grammar, if you're grammar if you're, man. Yes, Jose. Are you talking to me? Am I grammar man? <laughs> Excellent. Are you talking to Mr. Batty Louise? Oh, okay. Jose, who are you talking to? Me or Batty? Jose, were you saying yes. something? Yes, there. Yeah, repeat. Talk to me. Other what? So, do you have a guess, Jose? You see how I keep going back and forth between Jose and Jose. Jose, is it Jose or is it Jose? It's the same. It's okay. the same. Okay, I'll call you both. So, do you have a guess for us, Jose? Uh, I don't know. I have one. Go for it. Football. Number 11. <laughs> Number 11? Uh, you, you really got to convince me, because I don't know. <laughs> Number 11 doesn't work for me. Because, listen, uh, Sam, you could create, you could create uh, compound nouns from those two words, but there's nothing in that picture of Number 11 that's a compound noun to me. I mean, you could be creative if you want to, but I don't see anything in number 11, in box 11, that looks like a compound noun. I mean, I could kind of imagine one, but I'd have to be really creative. So, let's go back to Hazel. Let's go back to the beginning. Yes. What's the next one, Hazel? Number five, football. Number, number five. So, box number five, right? Yes. Box number five is box number five. Where is five? What page? First page, right? First, yes. Okay. A football. Football is absolutely a compound noun. Um, <coughs> but... It's there. And it's there, football. It is there. It is there. But why don't I have football in my notes? You have. No, I don't. I don't. I have... It's also first, first, first is also football. Oh, that's why. That's why. Because it's in the first panel, too. Okay. You're right, Hazel. So, you're, you're correct. I had it for number one. But you're right. It's in number five as well. Okay. And there, it's another compound noun in, in box number five. Which, which Mr. Action is going to tell us. <laughs> right, Action? Did uh, you find anything else in... So, I found football, but she said it, 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 it's... Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I was I was waiting for telling it, but maybe it's another one. Okay, what about Akla? Another one for okay. us? Yeah, in box number four, we box have number four. Butter yeah, butterfly. Fantastic yes. butterfly! Yes. If you put butter together with fly, you get that butterfly. Yeah, you get the butterfly. <laughs> Butter has nothing to do with flies, but somehow you put um, them together and it works. Grammar man, would, would you pronounce that a little bit slower, the word butterfly? You said it perfectly. 
You you said it perfectly. Mom. No, no, you said, said it perfectly. <laughs> Say it for me. Say it for me again. Okay, butterfly. Yes, that's that's the British way of saying it because you're you're enunciating T. the T's. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'm American, yeah. or or lazy, and so I don't say my T's. So I say butter, like a D, D, mm -hmm. butter, butter, but, butter, butterfly, but, butterfly. butterfly. Oh, you said butterfly. Look at butterfly. If you're from, <laughs> if you're from New York, where I spent most of my life until I came here, uh, you don't even say the consonants. For example, oh. the word Manhattan, right? Manhattan. We don't say Manhattan. We say Manhattan, oh, wow. oh. which is a guttural, a glottal stop. Manhattan. If you're saying it really fast, you don't even say the T's. But anyway, in American English, the T's become D's, like butter, butter. But, it's like yeah. butter. It's like butter. It's that easy. Okay. So okay. what are we missing? We're yeah. missing something in five. Yes. I have one in five. Go for it, Sam. Starfish. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, we're still missing one in five, though. Let's see if Mr. Who's le who's Jose, <clears throat> can you see what we're missing in box number five? We're missing one. Mr. Jose, what do you think? Look in box number five for me. Mr. Jose has gone silent. Jose, wake up. Yeah. Going once. Uh, hey, sun, there you go. Sun, sunglasses. Sunglasses is absolutely correct. Didn't we say sunglasses? Oh, no, no, you're right. You're right. Another box. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, I'll give that one to you. You get a point. Uh, but there's still one more, yes. isn't there? There's still one more in box number five. So we have football, we have sunglasses. Fish. Huh? What? I don't know. I don't know. We have starfish, that's true. Yes. We said that earlier. And one more. We, and one more. Mm -hmm. And Mariana, who's just joined us. Oh. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be great if Mariana could get this, this, this last one? Mariana. I don't know. Hi, Mariana. <laughs> Hello, Mariana. Mr. Batty, what do you think? In box number five, it's what's the one? Watch. A stopwatch. Stopwatch. Yeah. So, do we have them all? I think we got them all. So yes. our, eight, our eight compound nouns are sunglasses, briefcase, football, horseshoe, butterfly, stopwatch, starfish, and toothbrush. That's eight. You have all passed the test. How do you feel? Awesome. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> awesome. But we're not done there. Here's what I'd like you to do. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I want you to expand your vocabulary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three keywords. I'm going to put these on our document. Let me share the page and share the screen so you can see where we are. Okay, underneath the second link, I'm going to give you three keywords. The first one is money. The second one is health. And the next, the last one is, hang on a second. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what to call this. I'm going to call these social problems. OK. So these are three categories where you can find lots of compound nouns. Hang on just a moment. Let me see if I can give you any other clues here. Um, so, okay, for money, um, let me see how I want to do this. <laughs> now I'm a little bit confused. Why did I have social problems? Uh, yeah, okay, okay, no, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so, what I want you to do is, you can take a look at those words that we just encountered. Let me look at you instead of looking at my screen. Take some of those words and consider those roots. And you can start to think, hmm, in these general categories, I wonder if we could create any compound nouns. However, 
we've got a bunch of other roots that we can put in there. When I say roots, I mean the basic words. So let me give you an example. Under Monday, under money, we could say something like, I'll put in here the word card. You can already start thinking of what could be a compound noun with the word card. Under health, let me see if I can give you another one. Um, let me see if I can give you a different one, not from the not from the Grammar Man comic. Uh, health. Give me just a second here. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Remember, we had toothbrush. Well, let's take tooth. We already had toothbrush. I'll add that but we can add another one. And health, give me a second here, because I'm not sure what I had in mind here. It'll come. But what about card? What can we do with card? Credit card. Credit card, yes. We've got credit card. Okay. Tooth, tooth pin. Tooth what? Example. Tooth pin, for example. Tooth pin. That must be something that only Romanians use. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what a tooth pin is. <laughs> but you know what? I like toothpaste, I like pin. Toothpaste. 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 Okay. And that works. Toothstick. And say what? Tooth mm. what? <laughs> Tooth what? <laughs> Sam? Toothstick. Tooth the pick. same, I think. No, no, yeah. that's correct. <laughs> okay, but look, you said pin, right? That could also fit in a health. I'll say health and beauty, not just health, but how you know, like if you go to a uh, yes. place that sells a pharmacy yes. or something like that, you have health and beauty products. So not a tooth pin, Hazel, but as a beauty product, what can you use with pin? In hair. Hair pin. Or in um, um, tailor can use uh, pin. That's true, but what would be the compound noun in, with a tailor? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, but, but hairpin works. Hairpin works. What about tooth? The moment you say toothbrush, toothpaste, toothpick, great. If you don't use a toothbrush, you don't use toothpaste, and you don't use a toothpick, what happens to your teeth? You get a... Cavity. Tooth cavity? You get a tooth ca cavity. And <laughs> when you have a tooth cavity, <laughs> how do you feel? White tooth. What, what's that? Jose? White, white tooth. No, Mariana, I think. No, it's... I heard Jose, but I, I, I just heard tooth. I didn't hear the first part. Tooth white. Tooth what? White. Spell it for me. Spe spell it in the chat window. It's a color white. saying white. Tooth decay. White. Well, someone write it for me in the chat window. White. Uh, the problem is, <coughs> Jose, the problem with that is that it's not a compound noun. It's not. Here's why. Okay. In a compound noun, you take two nouns. One, for example, fire. Yes. Yes, and the yes. second could be man. You put them together and you get a new concept. Fireman. Okay. Okay. Bomberos. Fireman. Right? Yes, yes, yes. So, white doesn't work because it's an adjective. Toothache. Toothache is correct. Thank you, Hazel, and thank you, Marla. <laughs> I'm not sure who was first, but that's it. So you've got toothache, hairpin, credit card. Okay, I've given you three categories. Okay, I'd like you to try to think of. I'd like you to try to think of another compound noun in one of those categories and see if you can give us half of the compound noun and we can guess the rest. Okay? The only thing we can ask you, we can ask you which category it's in. Mm -hmm. So everyone take a minute, <clears throat> think of a noun and see if you can come up with a compound noun in one of those three general categories. And if necessary, we'll add another category. But I'd like you to give it a shot. So everyone take a minute and start thinking. Okay, I can give one. Okay. 
And if necessary, I can give you some basic words. Okay, so Sam, want to give us half of your compound noun? Sure. Um, under money. Okay. Loan. 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 Mm -hmm. Who wants it? Money loan. <laughs> A money loan. No. Nope. Doesn't work. Mariana, what's the second half of his word? Turn on your mic, Mariana. Why well, it's not the first half? <laughs> Sorry, what's the first half of his word, Mariana? Turn on your mic. We Hello, Mariana. The first half. Hey. Oh, awesome. So, we're working on compound nouns, and Sam has given us half of the noun. We don't know if it's the first or second part because he's not going to tell us that. But the word was loan, loan. <laughs> like this. Yeah, there you go. So, which word could fit together with home loan? Home Alone. Home Alone. That sounds like a movie with Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> home Alone. Home Alone. <laughs> is it... Is it... <laughs> are, we, are we close, Sam? No. No? Still no. Oh my god. Alone blend. Alone what? Blend. Blend? <laughs> Like what you do with fruit in a blender? <laughs> a low blend? Mm. Interesting. I can give the first letter if you like. No, 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 no letters. You've got to, you've got to give us a hint, but that's okay. cheating. I can give you a hint. John in the window, John in the chat window is saying mortgage, mortgage loan. Does that sound mm -hmm. like a compound noun? No, there are two words. Well, mortgage loan is two words, but can they be connected together? Sam, no. was that your idea? It is. No. It is the same meaning, I think. But same it's, meaning. It's, yes, oh. but it's not the one I I wanted. Give Give us a hint. Okay. Um, we know it's, it's about um, money. Uh, it, yes, it is related to loans. It's related, related to money. It's related to um, hard repaying loans. Uh, insurance? It should be related to Insurance loan? loan? Akhla is saying insurance loan. No, it is not. No? Okay, Sam, we give up. <laughs> what is it? Loan shark. Loan shark! Oh, that's a... That, that's... You know what? Yeah. Sam, this is why I always say that I'm not the teacher. Sam, you are doing the next Grammar Man class. You're going to run a class. <laughs> that, that is... That is the best compound noun I've ever heard in my life. Loan shark is excellent. Let's give him a round of applause, everyone. Okay. Sam, that was an unbelievably good compound noun. Where did you come up with that? Well, movies, you know. <laughs> Sam, <clears throat> tell us where would we where would we encounter a loan shark? Would it be in the loan aquarium? <laughs> where, what's a loan shark? Um, it's uh, usually a man with a gang, usually, and very a very rich man who can lend you money, but usually ask for high interest that you will never be able to pay back. Right, like your thumbs. Yeah. Like your thumbs <laughs> if you don't pay them back. <laughs> Fantastic. Excellent. Wow, that was really good. I'm very, very impressed. Okay, so listen, I'm going to give you a few, I'm going to throw out a few simple words, Okay. I've given you three categories, but you could think of other categories as well. I'm going to put these words in the verbling chat window. And let me see. I'm going to just go with, um, okay, let's go with, here's one. Uh, here's another. Uh, here's another. Where are uh, the chat? These, uh -huh. They yes. should be appearing in the verbling chat window right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here's another. Uh, there's another. Uh, here's a very good one. Wow, I'm still recovering from Lone Shark. That's better than any <laughs> idea I had. Oh. That's a good one. That's like real English. <clears throat> wow. Okay. And I'll put... Uh, okay, there's another one. Okay. So I'm throwing out some ideas for you. Okay. So I want to hear... I want I want only to hear half of your word and maybe the category. So Mariana, Jose, 
Hazel, Batty, Akla. You can pick one of those, or you can give us one of your own. And I'm going to give and you cuffs. a few others. Sorry? And cuffs. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're not supposed to tell us the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to say, well, cuffs is half of the word, and the category, well, it's not really about health. It's more like social problems, or maybe we could even say crime. That's what you're supposed to say. And then we're supposed to say, is it handcuffs? And you're like, yes, handcuffs. Okay. Wow. So good demonstration. Okay. I've given you a whole bunch of... By the way, John, is teacher half of your word? Or are you trying to talk to me? Oh. I, I don't know what's going on out there in the chat window. John, if you want to come to class, just pick... Press the big green button that says join. And by the way, you can always make a free account at Verbling, which you have to do first or you won't be able to join the class. Okay, everyone else, are you yeah. ready? Who wants to go first? Well, you, Sam is gone. Yeah, I... Who wants to go next? Okay. okay. So give us half the word and maybe the category, and let's see if we can figure it out. Batty, do you got one for us? By the way, look at that grammar. Batty, do you got one for us? Huh? Good grammar, huh? Batty, is you got one for us? Batty, what happened? Batty, are you talking with your mother again? Batty's boy. <laughs> okay. Hazel, got one for us? Um, I have to say my half of the word. Well, if it's too obvious, then maybe not. We, we, we want to try to guess it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would, I would say half, and then see if we can guess it, and then I'd give the category and see if we can guess it, and if not, I'd give mm -hmm. us a hint. Mm -hmm. Card. Card. Okay. Well, we got credit card. No. So is, is, it, is it a money? No, no. It's not, not money related. related. No. No, I think you're going to have to give us the uh, the, the general category. Uh, the third one, I think. Let me see. Social problems, yes. Social problems. Or, or no, no, health. More health. More health. More health. health. Okay. Health, something related to card. Yeah. Jose, health related card. Mariana. Um, screen. No. With card, screen card. Card screen? I'm confused, Mariana. Are you Lens. giving us? Lens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jose, say Lens. again. Lens. Wait no, a no. second. We're, we're trying to guess Hazel's. <laughs> Hazel gave us a clue. You'll get your chance. So, Hazel, uh, l l why don't you put that in the chat window for us? Card, card and, and health category. In, in the health category. Okay. Card holder. Card holder? No, no. That's a good one. That's an excellent one, by the way. That's very good. Card holder. That's true. Is that the right... That's not the right one, is it, Hazel? No. But that could be. Because anyone, anyone who, for example, if you have a subscription to something or you're matriculated in a government program, you can say you're a card holder or a policy holder. For insurance, you're a policy holder. Yeah. Mariana, that is a very good guess. I said for health. Okay, for health. So should this be one of these words that you have written already? Well, she, she picked card. We have to figure out the, the second half. Yes, the second half what is among the words uh, written by John Eric. Uh, donor? Oh. Yeah, donor card. Donor card? Wow. I don't think I would have gotten that. A donor card. If you've got a donor card, what can you do with it? <laughs> you can donate your organs. Yeah, so be very careful. <laughs> yeah. It's all, it's all about timing there. You don't want to <laughs> donate them too soon. Okay, who's got another one for us? What happened to Batty? Did Batty fall asleep? Mr. Batty, is your microphone not working? Wow. Can you hear oh. me? Hey, there we go. <laughs> It was freezing, the, the browsers were freezing. Don't let it freeze, Betty. Use your powers. Yeah. So, what do you got for us? 
Um, Are you still thinking? Okay, let's try another with car. Okay, car? it's using the wor the words that you wrote. No, oh, yes. It's, it's entirely up to you. What category okay. should we think about? The third one. Wait, wait, I don't have in front of me. What's the third one? Social problems. Yeah. What's the third? Yeah. Social. Okay. So card related to social problems. <clears throat> okay. Anyone? <laughs> card with social problems again. Oh, Appa apparently. social this <laughs> this time. Well, yes. Could be separated. Can it be separated? Uh, let's not worry about whether they're separated or not. Usually they are, by the way. Usually they are. But in, in some cases, like words that are used all the time, like fireman or policeman or toothache, it wouldn't be. But I, but I don't want to focus on the how you write it. Because if we focus on the orthography, I think it's a little too easy. I'd so rather focus on... Card. Membership card. Membership card. Uh, Batty? Are we right? The first half shouldn't be in uh, no. your list. Shouldn't be in your list. The first half. I, it's for, it's up to you. It's really up oh, to you. I was just okay. trying to give everyone some ideas. Batty, can you give us a hint without telling us the answer? Um. Yeah. For example, uh, when you are going to make a business, you you need it in order oh, yeah. to business card. Yeah. Yeah. Business card. Sure. Is it business card? Um, that's not about social problems. No, it's not about no. It's not business card. It's more Excellent. general. <laughs> that means you've stumped us. Oh, We're stumped. I, ID card. <laughs> ID card? No. Yeah, because what does that have to do with social problems? Social card problems. Card case. Club card. <laughs> Club card. What what is a card case? Is that the thing you put the cards inside of? I think. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if you've got social problems, you carry around a card case. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what the connection is. What what could the social problem part be? Okay. If you get a, it, it is something to do with getting arrested, Batty? Um, in order to. You want me the? Uh, you want me to say the definition or? No, no, sorry? just give us a hint. So, mm. it, it's something to do with social problems. Like, for example, getting yeah, in, in like, or like with the police or something. Is it related no. to the police? No. No. For example, you uh, if you want, uh, if you have. Um, I don't know your own business. You need it to to the society uh, to <laughs> give to a person. Uh, I heard two people talking. For yourself, what? you are uh, you have a service. So, <clears throat> hey, look, I am a lawyer. If you need a lawyer, <clears throat> <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what the <clears throat> part is. Okay, <laughs> but okay. Uh, Jose, did you have an idea? Because I, I thought I heard you speaking. Uh, cardboard. Cardboard. Cardboard is absolutely a compound noun. But unfortunately, cardboard is uh, is a material. So it doesn't fit with what Batty is saying. But it is a compound noun, so that's good. That's step one. Step two is to try to figure out what would a lawyer... And you're saying it's not a business card because when a lawyer say, "Here's take my card, here's my business card," isn't that what a lawyer would do? Am yes. I right? Uh, would it be? I think I think you okay. stumped us, Batty. You got to tell us the answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was <laughs> business card, but it's not presentation card. No, <laughs> it's not presentation card. No. We okay. said business card. We did. We said business card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you change your mind at some point? <laughs> because are you thinking in, are no, you thinking I, in Spanish? I thought that it was presentation card. How do you, yeah. say, it, how do you say it in Spanish? No, um, I Google. 
Ya, tarjeta de presentación. Ah, en portugués es it's, cartón it's de visita. So, that's why. Yeah, if you, if you translate it literally. For us, it's business card. Business card. Ok, now I googled it and yeah, business card. So, <laughs> the lesson here is always Google. <laughs> <laughs> that's the lesson we can take away from this. Here's one, yeah. one question for you. What is the... Why, how, why are you saying social problems? Maybe I should get rid of the word problem. Maybe I should just say the category is social yes. things. Or we could make another category, which is business, I guess. Maybe we could do that. I'm going to get rid of problems. And I'm going to go with... And, I, and I'm going to make another one here with the business. Okay, we've got a few more minutes. Anyone else have another one for us? A screen for screen. Mariana, so, so half the word is screen. Excellent. Uh, and movie. Guess the guess is the movies. Are you telling us the answer? Or are you giving us a hint? No, a, a hint. Movie is the hint. Okay. But you could say movie screen. <laughs> is that the answer? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, so screen related to movies. Okay, yeah. got it. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. And it's not movie screen, right? No. Screenplay? Yes. Oh, oh, my God. That's another good one. Wow. And think and like. <laughs> and uh, could be another one related to his movie. That's a really good one, you know? That's two really, really good ones. Screenplay. Another one. Uh, screenplay I, I and Lone Shark. One. Hey, wait. Well, you could make a screenplay about screen, a Lone Shark. Screen. I have second one. Screen writer. Screen writer. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. But screenplay is better, because I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've got three minutes. We've got time for three more, if we do them fast. Who's got another one for us? Screensaver. Screensaver. Wait, no, don't give us the answers. You're supposed to say screen, but related to the world of computers and information technology. And we'd say screensaver, mm -hmm. and you say yes. Sam, do you have another one for us? Mm -hmm. No. No? Achla? I have another one. Okay. Don't give us the answer. Just clock. The, just clock? What's the category besides time? Um, Is there another category for us to think of? Um, I, I, I don't know what category to put you can You can create your own category if necessary. <laughs> for example, I can think of one with clock, and I would say genealogy. It's related to genealogy. So I have one for clock as well. The category is genealogy. Does anyone know what it is? The word again? What's that? Yeah. Genealogy is your family tree. Your family oh, yeah. tree. Yeah. So if I say the category is genealogy, but the word is clock, what's the second half of the word? You can always... Uh, move. Uh, move? I'm confused. Uh, it's about time. No, no, it's about genealogy. It's about family trees. But the word is clock, just like you, Mariana. The word is clock, but not about, not about anything else. Not about money, not about social things, not about business. About genealogy. Really? No one knows this one? No. no. Well... Uh, you're here because of whom? Who's above you in the family tree? Parents. Can you say yeah. parents clock? Doesn't sound good, does it? And sisters clock. I think. No. <laughs> so who's above your parents in the family tree? And sisters. Before that, before that. That's too far away. A little closer. <laughs> Grandparents. Yeah. Grandparents. Grand yeah. Grandparents. You're very, very warm. Grandparents. Can you say Great. No, now you're getting cooler again. Great grandparents. <laughs> Akhla almost has it. <clears throat> You've got two grandparents. What are they individually? Individually they are? Grandfather, grandmother. Okay. Grandfather, you... grandfather's clock. That's it. Your grandfather clock. Do you know what those are? 
those are the really, really tall clocks with a pendulum that swings back oh, and forth. Yeah. There you go. Huh? I came yeah. up with a good one too. Um, and clockwise. Uh, and a question: What is uh, father clock? It 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 it, it doesn't exist. That's what okay. It is. It's when your father say, "Go to sleep. It's too late." Is that it? it, it no. I think I think that's something. It's only in Colombia. I Can you say the one with clock? You <laughs> didn't answer mine. I know we didn't answer yours because I had a good idea and I'm the teacher, so I wanted to talk. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, Mariana, why don't you come to the next class, which I'm now one minute late for? Okay? Because we're going to play taboo. Taboo? <laughs> we are. <laughs> but I'm one minute late, so I have to. I don't to know to play taboo. Okay, so come to class and you'll learn how. Ba Batty and Hazel will teach you because they're always the captains. It's a wound. But listen, I have to stop the class now because I'm already okay. almost bye -bye. two minutes late. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. okay. But come back and we'll still right. do yours, Mariana. We'll still do okay. yours in the next class. Okay. We'll start with you, okay? okay. All right. If bye -bye. you're Okay. Talk bye. to you soon. In 30 seconds, I hope. <laughs>